you're joining me for the building of this fishing boat. And like I said before, this is a good entry level ship for someone to make. You can use all the wood that comes with this little ship, especially if it's your very first time because it's a little easier to work with. Or at some point you can opt to make it a little nicer quality by getting yourself some black walnut. That's what I'm doing. In this segment, I'll talk a little bit about planking and how to bend these. And again, I'm a novice. I am not an expert at this. And as you grow in your journey on making model ships, you'll find that there's very specific ways to get these to come out right. I totally wing it. So it, to me, is a little less frustrating and less cumbersome. And you'll see my planks will go under one another here and some things like that. And then I will correct that somewhat or make it look at least okay by sanding this all off. And that'll be probably in the third segment is when you'll see how this comes together. So let's get started on how to bend these planks, whether you're using the planks that came with the ship or you're investing in some black walnut or some other exotic wood uh, to build your ship with. Some of the extra things that I did on this little model is the same as on the deck, these two roof pieces. I um, put the black walnut over the top of what originally was there. And there are two rectangular covers that go over these holes. I went and cut the holes out and then I'm gonna kind of prop those little doors up. I've also added some tables with some flickering lights. I'll put on the screen where I obtained those. I'm almost positive it was Amazon. But that's just to give it a little um, uniqueness. I'd also mentioned early on about the wood that came with the ship. This would go on the far side. This would go here. And I said that it would go, you know, up at the, the top part. But I decided to go ahead and use the black walnut. So I'm just going to make this out of the black walnut because it's only creating that little um, opening there for water runoff. So I put the top rail on. You can see that. There were wooden exhaust inlets, I think they are. And they were just kind of flat and made out of the inexpensive wood. And I used copper. And I put a little bit of a bend to them and, and cut them off at an angle. What I'm working on now is, is bending the planks so it'll fit on here much better. And I've tried a couple different things as far as soaking the wood. This time I just put these two in, wrapped them in a wet paper towel overnight. And just to give you an idea, there's been several ways that I've done this. Sometimes I'll soak the paper towel and then put it in the microwave. But lately, I've just been taking a little bit of water. Soaking the paper towel and then just wrapping these. Get that good and moist and then I'll just let it sit for a few hours. Now, if you want to speed that up, again, you can uh, use real hot water. Or like I said, I've even rolled these up like that, uh, microwaved it for just, you know, 15, 20 seconds, get it nice and hot and steamy, and then come back in 15 minutes or so. You just have to take your time. And this one I've already started bending. And I just slowly kind of rock this bending tool. And basically, it's just a soldering iron with a uh, large round tip on the end of it. And then my goal is to get this to fit pretty well without much stress. But I need a little different angle. So I just really take my time on this and I'll take a file or some sandpaper. So the top of it just needs a little different angle. So I'm just going to do it by feel. 
So now I need to get some a little more bend on this to bring this down more naturally. These uh, Pittsburgh spring clamp set from Harbor Freight continues to come in handy. They're not real stable, they're not real good quality, but because this hinges, I can spin that out and it has this little clamp and it just happens to be just right to push those planks up against each other. It's just a matter of working your way down. And a little bit of variance here I don't worry about because I will be able to sand that off. But it has to be reasonably close because there's not that much wood to work with. So stay tuned for part three. And as always, I thank you for watching. This is Boiler Dan 1 where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing.